Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets reduced their magic number to one for clinching the National League East as they beat the Cincinnati Reds 12 to 5. Noah Syndergaard was the big story tonight. He was just spectacular over seven and two thirds. It's the best I've seen him throw all year. He's had three starts, Gary, this year with this kind of stuff, and all three starts have had this kind of result where he's just dominant. Uh, 11 strikeouts, no walks. 22 year old kid, by the, by the way, throwing 98, 99. Great breaking ball tonight. Uh, unfortunately, gave up two runs, gave up a home run late, and then uh, got a base hit, left the game. The run was driven in by, given up by another pitcher. But just a absolutely outstanding performance, his ninth win of the year. I feel like the, probably the best I've ever felt still goes back to the Atlanta start, but I felt pretty amazing tonight. Um, I was able to locate my fastball both sides of the plate. Travis and I had a terrific game plan going. I um, was able to throw my off-speed pitches for strikes, so get some swing and misses on it, and uh, had really good feel for my changeup tonight. I, I thought start a couple, two or three starts ago was the best start I've seen him have all year. That that tonight was the best one he's had. That's a good lineup, and, and and to pitch like that against that lineup and have that kind of success. I mean, they got they got four All Stars in the middle of the lineup, so you know they're and, and to go out and, and go through them like he did is pretty impressive. I mean, never that I thought when I when I picked up a baseball when I was seven years old that I'd be here, 23, and and uh, pitching for the New York Mets, and then even so in a, in a postseason race. So it's an unbelievable feeling, and I'm extremely blessed to be here. And he drove in the first run of the night, which for a long time looked like it was all the Mets would need, but they got plenty more, especially from Lucas Duda. Well, Duda had a big day, and Duda's a big key here. He's been struggling, had a very kind of off year this year couple hot streaks but really not the kind of year Lucas had last year with the 30 home runs which the Mets were expecting and will need in the postseason well he banged out two tonight is 23rd and 24th and six RBIs also uh, Granderson had a big day he was kind of a little bit of a tailspin not bad uh, but he uh, had a big night a couple hits uh, he drove in uh, four runs with a home run uh, Murphy again in the middle of things early in the game he uh, late in the game he drove in a big run he's got two hits another RBI 70 RBIs on the year for for Murph so just a big offensive night for the Mets magic number uno yeah I think I'm progressing um, you know just I guess playing more getting the timing back and stuff but uh, feeling good right now and uh, glad we got the win tonight it's huge he's a big he's a big piece on our lineup he can do huge damage and you know, we've got with, with you know, with Ioannis in the middle of it and David now swinging pretty good and Dan swinging good. You add another bat in the middle of that lineup and it, it makes a huge difference. It's definitely, uh, it's exciting to say the least. Uh, it's a fun time to be a New York Met, a uh, New York Met fan too. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll go out tomorrow and see what happens, try to win the ball game and then uh, go from there. A really good win tonight. we got uh, Magic numbers one now. we got our horse tomorrow, Harvey, on the mound and uh, I have a pretty good feeling after that we're going to be uh, celebrating. So the Mets will go for the clincher on Saturday afternoon. Matt Harvey will make the start. How far will he go? Not far, but the Mets will try and clinch nonetheless. The uh, game is at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Our coverage begins at 3.30 with Pepsi pregame live on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.